No parents, no brother, just me, a baby, alone by himself. I gotta learn some skills. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Who's Your Daddy. I am all by myself in this house. My parents are gone, my brother is gone, and I've been tasked with learning 24 skills in 24 hours. Is this how you're supposed to raise a baby? But real quick before we do that, I wanna show you guys something that is very cool. Boom! Brand new limited edition Charlie plushie astronaut Charlie. This thing is so stinking cool and adorable and soft. Ooh, he's got the, the kindly Kian like, like space logo. He's got even like a little badge, Charlie badge. So, you know, in case you forget his name and he's got a, he's got a helmet, but it is limited. So keep in mind, he'll only be available for the next two weeks. So get him while you still can. He's just so cool. And I feel like they're not gonna last very long. And of course, me and Astronaut Charlie just wanna say thank you to all of you guys for all of your support over the years uh, purchasing these plushies. As you guys probably already know, every purchase helps directly support the channel and we like super appreciate it. So thank you guys. You all are amazing. Right, Astronaut Charlie? Yeah, he, yeah. Look at me, I'm Astronaut Charlie. I'm just floating through outer space. Either way, I gotta get learning. I don't have a list of skills that I need to learn. They just said, learn 24 new skills in a day. And I said, okay, I guess I'm, I'm a baby. So I guess since I have this plunger and this amazing plumber mustache, I should learn how to do some plumbing. I guess unclog a toilet. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess the first step in unclogging a toilet is clogging a toilet. Right? How do you clog a toilet? Well, probably you drop a, a fruit bowl in there. I think that would be a pretty good way to clog a toilet. I'm just gonna set that down right there. Okay, yep. And then I guess you just start flushing and, and hope for the best. Maybe maybe a banana, put a banana in there. Nope, the banana got squished. Okay, never mind. How about a candle? I got plug the toilet with a candle. Oh, toilet paper. That's why they always say, don't use too much toilet paper. Oh my gosh, I have the lid of the toilet. Wait, it, do I have to get into the innards of the toilet? Is this something that I need to learn how to do? Am I learning anything at this point? What is oh, toilet paper? There's toilet paper inside of that thing. Something tells me that's not where that's supposed to go. Holy cow. I don't know if that counts as a skill, but I did just learn how to do a triple flip. All right. Try again. Oh. Wow, it actually ate the entire roll of toilet paper. That's genuinely impressive. Maybe I just clogged the toilet with my own body. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm a plumber now. Holy cow, okay. And then you grab the plunger and then you just gotta start plunging, right? Am I doing it? Ah! That's a new skill right there. I am officially a bona fide plumber and I'm very happy with myself. Now I did just work up quite the appetite. So I do think that a valuable skill would be learning how to cook. However, I also flooded half of the house and I don't know if any of these electronics are gonna work anymore. Yeah, that seems to be a problem. But of course, all the electronics are completely destroyed but this candle is still lit. I learned a new skill. Skill number two, fix all of the electronic devices inside of a flooded house. That's right, look at this. Look, it's all working. That's incredible. I am kind of insane. Should I learn how to do dishes? Well, no, I'm hungry. I've worked up a huge appetite. So, I'm gonna cook myself a chicken. I'm pretty sure mom left a chicken in the fridge. Oh yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Don't eat it, it's raw. You gotta put it in the oven first. Or, you know what? Maybe I can pan fry it. Never mind. I'm cooking this thing in the oven. Oh, gosh. No, maybe I microwave it. Of course. Microwaves are the cooking devices of the future. Clearly, this is what is meant to be done. Okay. Let me just close the microwave. It's, it's hard when you're a baby. Everything's harder when you're only a foot and a half tall. All right. Press some buttons, right? I've, I've seen the people do this before. Here we go. Press six. Six. Eight. And then start. It's going. 
It's doing it. It's doing it. Something sounds like it's cooking. Is that a cooked bird? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a cooked chicken. Skill number three, cook a chicken in the microwave. The way everybody cooks chicken. There are some dirty dishes in here, so I feel like I need to make myself useful and start doing the dishes. And I feel like, th okay, this is this is working out fantastically. Uh, d I'm doing a great job. L I'm doing a great thing here. I oh, that's right. This is how they do it. I've seen the grown-ups do it like this. Okay, and then and then you just you just gently throw the dish into the tray. Perfect. You did it. And then you close the tray. I think I I did this perfectly. I, I mean, the plates didn't quite fit being fully together, so I figured I'd just break them into smaller pieces to get cleaned, right? That's the way you're supposed to do it. And then I just need to press this green button and another skill learned, washing dishes. I got this all day. Let's move to the outside. I feel like I wanna be more helpful for my parents. And the lawn looks like it's been getting a little long. So I do think that I should learn how to mow the lawn. Something that I've seen my father do probably once and probably did it incorrectly. But sometimes that's how you learn. You learn what not to do in order to do what to do. Uh, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. Look at me. Look at these perfect lines. This is incredible. Okay. No one said I had to mow the entire lawn. I just wanted to mow a line. And you know what? I think I've done a very solid job. Plus, look at this line. Look at how straight it is. It's not straight at all. But let me believe that it's straight. I'm a lawnmower now. That's four skills down. I only got 20 more to learn. This is easy. Swinging on a swing set. Guess what? I already got that skill. But I was thinking, what if I need to make a quick getaway? What about swinging on a swing set and then launching yourself over a fence? Now that is a valuable skill. Let's see. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, okay, I'm doing a full flip and here we go. Uh, unbelievable execution. I've escaped to the front yard with my amazing gymnastic skills. Easy. Skill number five, down. Check that one off. What's going on over here? What is this thing? Oh, it's a hose. What's it plugged into? Oh, it's plugged into the, the slip and slide. I already know how to use the slip and slide. That is a skill that I do not need. Same thing with a trampoline. But if any kind of repairs need to be done to the roof, I do think having the ability to trampoline on top of the roof is a valuable skill. So you know what? Let's do this. I think we can do this. There, yep. Yeah, oh, easy. Um, I wasn't planning on learning the skill to see through roofs, but did that one on accident. I actually might be Superman. I am concerned. I'm not sure how to, uh, how to not see through walls. Honestly, I can see all the way to the basement. Also, is our house just floating on water? What? All right. You know what? Skill number six, jumping on top of the roof. Skill number seven, seeing through walls. That's right, mom and dad. I bet you didn't think I was going to learn how to do that one. I'm just as surprised as everybody else is, but there you go. I can see through walls now. Skill number eight, call a bear. Hello, bear. I have summoned you and I have done so successfully. Oh gosh, bear almost got hit by a car. Here's the thing though. Skill number nine might be a little trickier than skill number eight. Um, okay, 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 okay. All right, nope. Stop, stop it, stop it. You back off, you back off. Um, skill number nine is gonna be taming a bear, um, which like I mentioned, a little, little bit more difficult, just slightly. Do you think bears like fruit? Here, bud, you want some fruit? You wanna eat some fruit? Here. Here. You want this? No! Oh, bad bear! Okay, all right. It, apparently bears don't like oranges. That's surprising. I'm gonna see if I can give the bear some hot dogs. That'll definitely make it so that we can be best friends, right? Bear! Come back. I have something for you. I think you're gonna love it. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
don't know if he loves it. I don't think he loves it. Oh, he does not love it. What if I just throw it at him? Oh my gosh! Why? Are you upset because I didn't take it out of the wrapping? Is that the issue here? Goodness gracious. What a picky bear. Okay, we'll come back to skill number nine. Skill number 10, using Amazon. Oh no, I have no Wi-Fi. Okay, I need to learn. Okay, this is gonna bleed into skill number 11, turning on the Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure the router is upstairs, if I remember correctly. That's where like dad's gaming center is. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so where does, where do you plug this? Do you, do you plug this into the wall? Is that it? Just here, like that? Did I do it? Do I have Wi-Fi now? I do! Well, that was easy. Now, back to skill number 10. I'm gonna learn how to use Amazon. I'm pretty sure I'd need some meat here. I need to order some meat for the bear. This is this is a great plan. He seems happy to see me. Here, here. I like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. What are you doing? Bear, bear, here, I have, I have the meat. You gotta... You gotta eat it, man. Look. I got it just for you. Did... Success? Have I successfully tamed a bear? I mean, it seems like he's... He's not punching me around anymore. I'd say that's success. Also, I have a bat now. Ugh! Oh, no! Well, um... Skill number 12. Defend yourself against a bear. We'll just... Check that one off. What is this thing? Procedural projectile launcher? What? Okay. Skill number 13. Learn how to use a procedural projectile launcher. I'm gonna take this thing outside because I'm scared of what it might be able to do. Something's happening. Oh! What? Can I, can I like... What is this? What does it do? You think I can... I can... Oh, I just got hit by a car. Okay, that was not on my list of things to do. Not today, at least. Load as ammo. Oh, I love this. Okay, okay, I see. So can I shoot, like, spoiled meat? Oh, you bet I can. You bet I can. What the heck, man? This is so cool. I did use up all the batteries. But you know what? It was worth it. That experience was incredible. You can definitely check that one off. What was that? 13? 14? I don't even know. I think it was 13. Skill number 14. Catch a rat. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do with this rat? Not too sure. Honestly. You know what? Catching a rat was too easy. Let's teach a rat how to swim. That's a valuable skill for not only me, but also the rat. Because it shows that I'm a good teacher and the rat can then survive a flood. I'm doing my part. All right, Mr. Rat, you can do this. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop you in there. There you go, there you go, look at him. Look at him, look at him go. Where'd he go? Where'd the little rat go? Is he swimming? I can't even tell. Wait, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's doing it. He's swimming better than I am. My guy can just run through the water, what? That's amazing. Okay, yeah, safe to say I'm the world's greatest teacher, like, ever, I guess? That's 14. Let's move on, shall we? So I found myself a crayon. And you know what I was thinking is a very valuable skill that people seem to be amazed by on the internet? Drawing a perfect circle. I feel like this is something that I should try to learn how to do. So, of course, the best canvas for doing that is the walls. That's why they're there. So let's see. Can baby draw a perfect circle. Let's find out. Um, I think we need some practice. Let's try again over here. Like I said, I mean, we got plenty of walls to practice on, so we got this. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, no, that's terrible. Come on, you can do better than that. Here we go, here we go. Mm, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's try over on this wall. Maybe I start from the bottom and work my way around. See if one of those works. Uh, uh, I mean, that was an impressive circle, I have to say. Very large. I don't know how I reached so high. Not quite a circle, though. Let's try over here. Here we go. 
Whoop. You just have to like fully commit. I've seen people do it. They just they just like hold out their hand perfectly still. They like can close their eyes and they just go whoosh, and it's done. It's incredible. So maybe that's the key. I need to close my eyes. All right. Just believe. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, that's pretty good for eyes closed. Let's try it over here. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's change things up a little bit. We got purple crayon. Let's do that. Huh. Purple crayon. I mean, it's a great oval. I did a good oval. Okay, that's not quite there. You know what? Maybe it's maybe it's this room that is causing the issue for me. I should try in the kitchen. And let's be real. Mom and dad are going to love what I've done with the place. Ah, ha, ha. okay. So I kind of took my time on that one and I feel like it turned out a little bit better. Let's do one more just for good measure. But I think we got this. Okay, that one didn't count. Never mind. Gonna put one over here. I don't know why that one got so squiggly right there, but it's fine. Skill number 15. 16? I don't know. Done. Skill number 16. Getting absolutely yoked. Let's lift, bro. Here we go. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I have. Oh my gosh. Who needs weights? Look at these gains. Bro! Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I, oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, this seems bad. I don't... I don't think I can escape. This is fine. This is just part of the learning experience. It's okay. Everything's gonna be... Everything's gonna be fine. I guess that's why they say you should have a spotter. But don't worry, I'm good. I... I survived. Sort of. Ignore that purple baby over there. I think I can do some more. Can I get even more swole? Oh, we are getting jacked. Oh, baby. I am feeling strong. That's another one checked off the list. Let's move on to 17, which of course is playing pool. Let's see if I can do this. All right, here. I'm just gonna, all right. You know, I actually, you know, get rid of that one. I only need one and then, yeah, okay. Huh! Okay, no, you got. You just gotta line it up. Oh, incredible! That's exactly what you're supposed to do in pool, right? You're supposed to get the white ball directly into the hole. I must be like the best pool player ever, honestly, because like that was so easy. I don't know why people think that pool is hard. I'm insane. You know what? Darts seems like a good skill to have. Let's learn how to play darts. Here we go. Just gotta line it up and. Uh, okay, okay. That was a little off target. You know what? I think I can. I think I can do this. Yeah. Okay. At least we got on the board that time. Huh. Oh! Bullseye! Let's go. Check that one off the list. That's number eighteen. Get out of here. I'm. I'm insane. Oh look, another type of lawnmower. Surely this lawnmower is just as effective as the other one, right? Oh my gosh! I don't know if that's. How you're supposed to use them but hey i'm doing a great job of mowing the lawn and i can just add that to the skill that i already had because you know that was like skill number five or something all right skill number 18 i feel like this is an important one in the event of an emergency i need to learn how to drive a car how else will i get out of this place so step one is open the garage and i'm pretty sure you can just press a button right yeah the door daddy boom it's easy easy i've seen mom and dad do this stuff all the time and then you gotta get oh man okay i think we need a key we don't have a key we gotta find the key to the car if you were an adult where would you leave the keys to your car just think about this for a second the trash yep Exactly. I'm already, I'm, I'm like three months old and I'm already thinking like an adult. This is insane. I'm strong. I'm smart. I can do insane gymnastics flips. I got it all, man. This baby's going places. All right. Insert key. Done. 
closed door. That seems like something I should probably do. Well, no, get in the driver's seat. <gasps> oh, it's working. I'm doing this. This is so easy. Look at this. Look, look at it. Look at it. I, can, I don't even have to drive on roads. I can fly. I can... I can absolutely fly cars, okay? I don't need all four wheels on the ground. That's how good I am. That's how capable I am. There's a boost on this thing? What? Why? Why? Why is there NOS on a VW bug? You know what? Actually, don't... We don't need to answer that, because I think that's genuinely awesome. You think I can get this thing into the backyard? I think I can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean... That's probably one way to do it. Try to try to jump over the bushes like while boosting. Oh, no. OK, that was exactly how I saw that playing out. Skill number 18. We can check that one off. Let's move on to skill number 19, shall we? Taking out the trash. No one likes a dirty diaper bin. But you know what people do like? Being inside of a dirty diaper bin. But what do you do with the diapers? I know exactly what to do with them. Step one is you gotta open a window. But if you can't open the window, the next best thing, just break it open with a block. And then, of course, step two, you chuck those dirty diapers right out the window. Perfect. This is what everybody does with dirty diapers. That was a terrible throw, but I'm a baby. Give me a break, all right? Just toss that thing there. Perfect. And then the magical diaper fairy will come pick it up that's how it works duh so i think that was skill number 20 we only got four more skills to learn you think i can learn how to use a computer this thing seems complicated oh yeah that's how it's supposed to be right i just grab the fan right and i just eat it that's what computers are for i think i'm doing the right thing yeah and then you take this thing out this seems important and then you eat it. You know what? Being a PC gamer is actually pretty cool. I'm into this. Nice. Become a PC gamer. That's another skill. Check that one off. Number 21. Now I'm just going to make things a little bit more interesting around here. You know, cool down a bit. I want to go up into the attic. See if there's any valuable skills we can learn up there. Now, how in the world do you get into the attic? I always have my brother here to help me with these kinds of things. I just feel so lost without him. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best decision. I fixed it. I fixed it. Because I am a professional plumber, as you guys might remember. You know what, though? I should probably learn how to use a wood chipper. You never know when you're going to need something like that. All right, I got a key. Just put that in there. And then it's rolling, right? So what kind of stuff do you put in a wood chipper? Well, I guess wood. But what if you don't have wood? I guess the next best thing is... Maybe an apple? Throw that in there. Nope, that didn't work. What happened to that apple? How about a lemon? Also did not work. You think I could put a pool noodle in there? That seems like something that should get shredded. Really? What is this pool noodle made out of? What about a pool flotation device? Duh! What? No! I don't want to wear it. I want to shred it. Well, at least I learned how to turn on the shredder. Now... Okay, that pear got shredded. Good. That's basically wood. Comes from a tree. Pear is just edible wood. You ever think about that? So learning how to use the wood chipper, albeit probably incorrectly, that's task number 21 completed. Now what about task number 22? I don't know. They're getting harder to find. So I was thinking, you know, the house definitely has looked better. Um, so I should probably learn how to do some repairs, and I feel like a tool that you would use to do repairs would be a nail gun. So, that seems like a good task to learn, a good skill, how to use a nail gun. Turns out, it's really not that hard. Okay. Seems totally safe and very easy to use. Skill number 23, how to safely use fireworks as a baby. Well, step one is jump on a trampoline to the top of your roof. And then step two is to light the fireworks. And then step three is to grab the firework. And yes, 
See how safely we accomplish that skill? I did not expect it to end quite that way, but that was awesome. And last, but certainly not least, the final skill for today is um, how to order an army of cats and then ride them into the sunset. Skill complete. Now hopefully my family will come home.